welcome back to... When will the next Ask Ponies episode slash episodes actually come out? All right, all right, we get it. We're a tad late. A tad? You are supposed to be problem solving right now with Fluttershy and Twilight on how to get Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie off the moon. Yeah, since, you know, you made them wait two years. I hope they're still alive up there. That's quite enough out of you. <clears throat> now, please welcome our esteemed guests of honor, the fabulous Miss Octavia Melody. You've left your friends on the moon for two years. And, of course, Ponyville's own DJ Pwn3, known off the stage as Vinyl Scratch. How exactly did they end up there in the first place? I'm so sorry, but uh, I believe it is YouTube that gets to ask the questions, not the guests. To Vinyl, how does it feel like to never talk once in your entire lifetime? It's all right, Vinyl. <sighs> oh, thank Luna. Fuck, that shit's hard. I tried, okay? I tried to watch my fucking mouth. It can't be done. So you choose not to speak at all? Which, upon reflection, could be troublesome for a question and answer segment. She doesn't know? Apparently not. Interesting. No, what exactly? It's not important. Just some bullshit Tabby told me about the fourth wall. Vinyl, don't. Yeah, we only gotta worry about it every hundred episodes or so. Can't imagine what it'd be like for you. <laughs> yeah, never mind. For Octavia, have you ever tried playing any other instruments? If so, which was your favorite? What? What is all this for? Don't mind me. I'm just going to count how many questions are about music. And why are you doing this? <sighs> Vinyl thinks that there are some ponies out there who only see us as one-sided uh, background characters, if you will, with no real value or substance outside of our musical professions. Why, that's ridiculous! You are far more than just your professions! Why, if that were the case with me, ponies would think that I'm just some stuck-up fashionista obsessed with glittering things! <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question, I can play an assortment of stringed instruments, including the harp and the piano. To Octavia and Vinyl, was there a time that Octavia went insane because one of her violin strings broke? Are you talking about my cello? Yes, you'll uh, get quite used to that, unfortunately. Lower your expectations. To Vinyl and Octavi, have either of you performed at exotic venues, Mount Aries or the Crystal Empire, for example? My career certainly takes me to all corners of the world, though I would have to admit the most exotic would have to be the time I was invited to perform at a classical-minded dragon's coming-of-age celebration atop a volcano. <laughs> This is why it is best to invest in flame-resistant polish. And you, Miss Scratch? Let's just say, I brought down more than the house. To Octavia and Vinyl, what is your relationship with each other? You two seem to be roommates, but the house is split up between you two like your siblings or something. Don't worry, honey, I've got this one. You see, when Tavi and I made our big U-Haul plunge, we bought that house and it was pretty, eh, plain looking. We both had ideas about how it should be decorated, and, well, it kind of turned into our first big fight. So, we agreed that we would each get to decorate half of the house. 
for fairness sake. Of course, I didn't think she meant that literally. Imagine my utter shock when she finally moves down from Canterlot and sees the house that she helped design. And she wasn't immediately in love with it. <laughs> I guess I'm just lucky that she's too in love with me to care. Well, it's... it's quite the statement piece. <laughs> you could call it, uh, avant-garde. I entertain my cantaloupe friends at a hotel down the street. Octavia, how are you able to tie your bow tie with your hooves, or do you buy them pre-tied? Do they really think that earth ponies are just mudslingers with no prayer of living a productive and normal life? If I don't have wings to act as digits or a horn to levitate what I want, then I must be completely lost. Is that it? Come on, Tavi. Not every pony knows exactly what the earth pony's magic really is. Wait, there's an earth pony magic? Yeah, and we're not talking about that shitty little plant magic from G5 either. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? What aren't you telling me? I was tying ribbons when I was a filly. They are no challenge to me whatsoever. And no, I don't use my earth pony magic to tie them. Question for Vinyl. What are your opinions on sons with curse words? Fucking love them. Daughters, too. And hell, if they're of age, I'd buy them a mug of Applejack's secret cider stash. We'd shoot the shit all night long. I believe they meant to say songs. <sighs> Questria! Fuck yeah! Does that answer your question? Octavia and Vinyl. Is there any truth to the rumors that one of you is a vampire? Um, is that... Uh... Vinyl, you're scaring our host! It's just juice. Want a taste? Although I'm sure it's far better than Sweetie Belle's cooking. I'll pass. Besides, you need more than just a little red liquid to prove that I'm a vampire. I'd have to be seen mostly at night in loud places where a pony scream can't really be heard over the crowd. Does that sound like me? <sighs> nah. Uh-huh. Well, if you would excuse me, I, I need to take a teensy little break and have that garlic bread I'm suddenly craving. We don't attack random ponies in large crowds, Vinyl. Nah, but you only drink your super special stash of red juice that I'm not allowed to touch. You keep that bottle next to your blue contacts in the bathroom cabinet. Announce it to the world, why don't you? Too Tavi, has Vinyl done something that you supposedly find annoying but secretly enjoy? Hey! Only I get to call her Tavi! Fuck off with that shit! Well, there you are then. Question for Vinyl. If a filly's birthday asks you to join, but Octavia has her birthday at the same day, who will you join? Okay. <laughs> Either I'm really fucked up, or that didn't make sense. I believe Joyce is trying to ask a rhetorical question. It can't very well be rhetorical if it's happened before. More than once, I might add. What was the excuse last time? Ah, oh, yes, you forgot that it was my birthday when you booked your gig. But uh, that'll never happen again, because I wrote your birthday on the back of my hoof, so I'd see it every day and never forget it. So when is it, then? Oh, uh, it's today? Right now? Uh, I have your present all wrapped up and ready to go. I just gotta run and go grab that. <laughs> I'll be right back to have you. Love you so much. Today is your birthday? No, but the ink inevitably rubs off. So occasionally, while she sleeps, I will write a different date and enjoy a little extra panic. It's the simple things, really. Vinyl and Octavia, if you couldn't play or listen to music for a week, what would you do? <sighs> Isn't this relaxing, Vinyl? <sighs> yeah. I can hear the birds again, and all the dark thoughts that I smothered with wubs. To Vinyl and Octavia, did you ever have eyes for any pony else before you met each other? 
Oh, yeah. You don't get this far in the industry without attracting some cute groupies. I remember there was this one time in Las Vegas. <clears throat> but none of them could ever compare to you, Tavi. <laughs> nice save. Oh, well, certainly you must have had some lingering looks yourself, Miss Melody. Perhaps. But I never noticed. No. My type seems to be exclusively white unicorn mares with deep-seated passion for their craft. This certainly isn't awkward at all. To Octavia and Vinyl. Have the two of you ever done a concert together which consisted of both classical and hip? Sorry. I didn't know how else to describe Vinyl's unique style of music. I meant to use hip as a compliment. I'll take it, Nathan. I'll take it. And why wouldn't it be a compliment? Hip-hop is a popular genre of music, Sweetie Belle tells me. Uh, I'm not a hip-hop artist. Oh, of course, of course. I, I only meant that hip was, uh, was a good thing. <laughs> so what is it, then? What is what? My music genre. Shouldn't we be answering the question? No, no. This is more important. Well, obviously you're a master DJ who does, um, a variety of, uh, well, it's hard to pinpoint exactly the type of, uh, oh, for Celestia's sake. Vinyl is an electronica musical artist with emphasis in dubstep and EDM. <laughs> Tavi, we would have been here for hours. For Octavia and Vinyl. What were you guys doing when Cozy Glow, Tyric, and Chrysalis returned? Tavi, do you see what's going on out there? Do you want to finish Game of Thrones tonight, or what? You're right, you're right. Priorities. Hey, Tavi. Would you ever consider wearing a blonde wig? Shush! To Vinyl and Octavia. Do you guys ever match outfits? Happy face. Oh, that would be adorable! If you ever were interested in such a thing, you know to whom you could trust. <laughs> what? It's just a little strange that a completely unscripted question would ask us about your special talent. Whatever do you mean? That I somehow asked this question myself? <laughs> These questions come curated from YouTube. I have no part in their content. And what exactly do you believe YouTube is? Oh, <laughs> Pinkie Pie already explained all of that to me. It's another friendship school on the other side of Equestria. And the ponies there use our experiences to learn more about friendship. That delusion runs pretty deep. Must be a unicorn trait. Hey. My dear old friend Rarity, why do you look like a marshmallow? It's not even my segment, and it still haunts me. And now they are questions directed toward you? I, I swear I'm not doing anything. I would never choose a question like that. Sure. To Rarite, what would you do if you were an acorn? Because... How would you react if you were flying? <laughs> I, I don't understand what's happening right now. I swear to you, I'm not doing this. An acorn marshmallow like you? A liar? Can't possibly be. To Vinyl and Octavia, if, just if, Rarity and Applejack getting merry... You would have to mix classical music with country music. Do you think you could? That's it! Interview over! Happy Pony, go home! Yeah, you run away! Teach you to take our show. <laughs> if any pony knows how to use her Earth Pony power, for good or for evil, it's me! <laughs> I'm pretty sure the audience doesn't know what that power is. All Earth ponies can break the fourth wall! Duh! Although most of us choose not to flaunt it. Eh, since every pony on the YouTube now knows about the fourth wall, 
Let's utilize it and break the space-time continuum to pick our next guest. That one's new. <laughs> Maud taught me that one. I'll make a poll and I'll post it in the past so we can see who the internet people want to question next. <gasps> Princess Cadence! Leave a comment below asking Princess Cadence a question, but read the rules in the description first. Well, I better go get Dashy from the Tropical Island Getaway and bounce us back to the moon before Twilight's rocket ship comes to rescue us. <laughs> Bye! I promise we won't take this long ever again. I'm so sorry. Two Octagon Woman. If there were an alternate universe where you were one of the main six, what element would you be? I ain't asking vinyl because I don't have any idea what to ask her. <laughs> Octagon woman? <laughs> what the fuck are you? The element of shapes? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're a stop sign. The element of fuck no. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck was that last part? And the last pony finally crosses the finish line. 